good. Put a line in it, all right? So I'm going to use the power of technology. Hey, guys. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to use the power of technology here, and I'm actually going to make a line. So this should be perfectly straight. That's a giant line, so I'm going to make it a little bit thinner than that, okay? But um, it should be a perfect match, always. Let's see some of the properties. There we go. All right. This graph right here would score... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Right now, we're only at 9 out of 10. You still got to continue this line off, okay? So... Um, Where'd my pen go? So we're just going to continue on and just go like that. That's a perfect graph right there. Right? Now, I love graphs. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a math teacher. All right? So I guarantee, I think probably on every test of the year, there's going to be at least one graph. All right? The way to get good marks on graphs are neatness. Okay, if you do all six of these things, that's half the mark, that's three out of eight on the graph. Even if you know nothing about what equation we're doing, by setting up the graph, you get some marks guaranteed. Okay. On the other hand, on the other hand, if you are sloppy and you just do this for a graph, okay, and you say, there's my graph, you're going to get whatever, four to eight, even if the points are perfect, okay, right? So take your time. You guys know in real life, presentation is a huge deal. Right, your impression that you make to other people are a big deal. The work that you present to other people, you want to hand a resume, you want it to look good. I'll use my did I go to the grade nine night last night? I'll do a I'll pause for a sec. So I shouldn't really tell the story. Uh to try right now. The next graph is going to be example two. Okay. Um this should you should remember some of this from grade nine. Okay. Okay, so follow along with the last this guy, follow along with the last example and do this one please. I'll come around and wander around if there's any questions about things. Um, and then uh, negative three over two. And equal slope equals rise over run. Okay, can I get somebody from the row behind them? One of you six. So raise your hand, please, and tell me what a rise of negative 3 means, please. It goes down 3. Good, down 3. If a positive uh, slope was like up, right, negative going to be down. Can somebody else from the back row tell me what a run of 2 is? Yeah, please. Right 2, okay. So that's the nice thing about slope. Once it's set up, it's just like continue, continue, continue. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yes, nothing wrong. Oh, that's why you pencil. That's why you pencil. Like, you're not gonna be the only person. Don't worry. All right. Because this one, we went left. So what? Okay. So just so I talk, please, guys. One second. Listen up. Okay. So I, when I see a lot of people doing this, not everyone's doing this little part at the beginning. You don't have to do this, but it helps really organize your paper here for sure. Okay. Can someone from the front tell me, please, what my y-intercept is, please? Someone from the front row. Please? Yeah, what? Okay, so a b is going to be y-int equals 1. What that means is that 1, 0 is my, sorry, 0, 1 is my starting point. Okay, so your first point on your graph is going to be 0, 1. Once you are there, you're going to go down 3, right 2. Down three, right two, down three, right two, and that's your graph. Okay, here we go. I'll graph this one as fast as I can. Hopefully, you guys have. I'm going to give you one question for homework. Uh, one. I'll give you two. I'm going to do one more example, and then we'll do two. Let's do this super fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, here's my numbers. Uh, I'm going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as high as I can go. Oops. 
So what I did here, remember, I put my numbers in. I put arrows in all four corners, and I labeled X and Y. Okay. My first point here is going to be 0 and 1. After that, I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and right 2. 1, 2, 3, and right 2. Okay, I'm going to, hope you don't mind, I'm going to embarrass Dion for a sec. His graph looked the other way going upwards. I think he did up, up three right two. Okay, that's good now though. Remember, the way it works here, maybe, maybe your grade nine teacher told you that's a positive slope, should look something like this, right? And a negative slope should look something like that. Is that correct? Maybe not. Yeah. So that's how it should be, right? Positive slope should be like this, negative slope should be like that. And right, connect the dots. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's the dots connected. I put a little title on there and I like it's good. I'm going, to tell, I'm going to take a break and tell them the story of Mrs. Sadler, and then I'm going to do more of my last attempt. All right, um, Mrs. Sadler, so i got a story to tell you before I 